Jay from JNL Video Postcards bringing you to a visit to the Museum of the City of New York. One of the things I enjoyed the most about the museum was how everything was divided up into decades or sections of time, which is how I think of New York history in general. The museum was a little light on actual artifacts, but had a plethora of interactive exhibits. One of my favorite interactive exhibits was how the subway was constructed over time in its transition from a private enterprise to what New Yorkers have come to lovingly call the MTA. There is a separate room with a exhibit devoted entirely to activism in New York. I found this exhibit to be especially interesting and it made me think of the city in a way I don't normally think of it. As a place where national discussions are held in a very in-your-face intimate way. Everything from prohibition to communism to civil rights were on display here and if you think about it today you really can't turn the corner in New York without seeing some kind of demonstration or parade or somebody just trying to change your mind about something. And it was true back then and it's true today. If you go to the second floor of the museum, there's a section devoted entirely to the music of New York City. When I think of New York City, I think of the Beastie Boys and the Ramones, and also interesting was to find my childhood living room in the middle of a museum. Before leaving, please check out the fantastic uh, video that they have on the history of New York. It really, really is phenomenal. Grand Central Terminal and Pennsylvania. For those of you that think that the way New Yorkers are are a recent development, there is a 200-year-old quote from John Adams in the stairwell that I think really does say it all. Thank you for joining us over here at JNL Video Postcards. Please like and subscribe.